Good morning, good afternoon, good evening internet, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Economical Rides. Oh, hi there, so this is part two of my ride from Lubrin to Bedhar. Um, so now we're riding from Los Gallados to Bedhar to Lubrin, so we're going to take this road the opposite direction. So this is my New Year's Eve ride, part two. So as you can see, for New Year's Eve, great weather. It's about 17 degrees. Very little wind, which is unusual for these parts. So yeah, let's just enjoy this little ride through some nice countryside. And it's definitely an area that we need to revisit in springtime because it's gonna be a lot more colourful when the uh, wildflowers come out and I think there'll be quite a few wildflowers around here looks like it so uh, yeah let's just enjoy this little ride as we say goodbye to 2022 but by the time this comes out that would have been a good week ago I guess at least but I feel very fortunate indeed to be uh, able to go out on New Year's Eve and not be cold and enjoy the sunshine and the scenery as I mentioned in part one of the video that was the same last year last year I took Buddy from Oaxaca to Carboneras and that was a similar video I thought to stay So this road does have some, uh, quite a number of hairpins. So I just had to check my uh, GoPro was still doing its thing because uh, We've got an error message on the app, but yeah, the GoPro is still filming. So yeah, we get to experience some hairpins on this road. Some lovely little hills. And uh, yeah, on the way down we, we met a bunch of goats who were busy crapping all over the road. So I guess they will bump into them again on the way back. But this time you get to see the road from the other perspective coming up rather than coming down so hopefully it will be just as uh, entertaining for you so let's just enjoy this ride
on baby, yeah we can do that in third, no worries. again and now we've got to head up over there well somewhere up there we'll find we'll find the goats again I would imagine Definitely looks different coming this way, so that's good. Different bit of scenery for you. Oh yeah, there's a hole in the road. Nearly forgot about that.
lake in the road there, I don't know if you saw that. He's uh, sunning himself, so it must be warm. from up here, Let's see if I can uh, pull over here, I think we can, there's a bit of room for you. So these are the tankers I mentioned earlier in part one, you can see them, hopefully you can see them, one there, one there, that's the sea, and my hacker's just around the corner there. So yeah, it's a very, very lovely little area here. Not bad at all. And of course, uh, perfect roads for a bike like the Classic 350, which is looking marvellous in its element here. And uh, yeah, let's just continue the ride. But there's a nice view for you. No gateway, I'm afraid, saddlebags, but you know, can't have it always. So I think this is where the goats came out, because there's goats poop, so they probably came from here onto the road. But they, they've probably gone back home by now, but we shall see. There might be more goat action. Let's see. So once we get to the end of this road, we'll be near to Lubrin and then I will head off to Zergena and homewards from there. And I think I would have been uh, on the road for about three and a half hours, something like that, by the time we get home. And as ever, I did it without a break. Um, I just find the Meteor and the Classic so comfortable, I don't really have a problem. Uh, spend three hours in the saddle. Yeah, this is where the goat poop is, so they've definitely been for a walk around here. But hopefully they've gone home now. Yeah, I think the goats have gone. No goat action for you, unfortunately, in part two, but you've got plenty in part one. And I got to smell them in all their glory. Unfortunately, you didn't.
so now we're just going to gradually wind our way out into the valley down there, down below, to our left. So some more hairpin action coming up. I'm just checking the mileage on the Classic, we've done 3,345 kilometres nearly, so yeah, the 3,500, uh, yeah, we won't quite reach them by the time we get home, but we'll be getting close, and then at 3,500 I'll do my wrap-up review of my time getting on for a year, so 10 months with the Classic 350, So today is uh, New Year's Eve, so that's, uh, what day's today? Saturday, that's right, Saturday. And on Tuesday, I'm taking Buddy over to Almeria, and on Wednesday, he's getting the service done. 18 month service. I don't think I'll be filming on that one, because I've taken the panniers off. I can't really carry enough stuff for the overnight stay and all of the camera gear. So I don't think we'll be filming anything on that trip for you, unfortunately. But, plenty of other trips to come. Actually, by the time you see this video, that trip's probably been and gone. But, uh, anyway, time travel, YouTube is complicated. But yeah, the Classic's running fine. Um, I did have somebody ask me uh, whether the speedo situation was still good. It's still good since I uh, contact cleaner sprayed the uh, connector. Um, the speedo hasn't played up since, so that's that little fix is uh, holding. So here we are back into El Marchal first little village we came to on our way down here uh, yeah this way I guess it's a bit of a tricky one It'd be quite easy to go straight on there and end up in somebody's orchard or whatever that is down there Right, that's good.
there you go, winter sunshine. Look at that, that's not bad, is it? Have a face full of that, people. Yeah, this little area nestled between the hills. It's very pretty. Right, well here we are. This is the end of the road from Los Gallados, Beda, Lubrin. Well, there you go. That was the uh, road from Los Gallados to Lubrin via Beda. I hope you enjoyed that little ride with me. Uh, a little bit of winter sunshine for you. And, uh, yeah. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps. Gets me more views. The more thumbs up I get, the more I get recommended by YouTube. And the more views my videos get, which is always good. More petrol money. Um, yeah, and we'll wrap this video up there. I'm off home now to give Ruby her sausage, which of course I will be filming for you as usual. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Bye bye. So Ruby, are you ready for one of Michael's sausages? Yes. You've been a good girl. Did you look after the house for Daddy? Oh, in that case, let me get you a sausage. It's not easy with one hand, but we're getting that. There we go. Have one of Michael's sausages. <clears throat> oh, sausages. Thank you, Michael. Say thank you, Michael. Thank you, Michael. Good girl. It's Daddy's motorbike. Nice one. <laughs>